Hey, it's Ben Hearn back with another Market Watch for Narbeth and Valley for the month of June. And if you have been paying attention to the real estate market, you know that the past couple of weeks have been pretty crazy. And we're sort of in this transitional period right now. So before we jump into the homes and see what's been happening on the market, I did want to touch on that real quick. Um, you'll probably hear, depending on who you talk to, that it's a good time to buy or it's a bad time to buy. Uh, it's a good time to sell or it's a bad time to sell. And it literally just depends who you talk to. Um, so one of the reasons that it is a good time to sell is that home prices aren't falling off like they did back in 08. They're just like leveling off. So they're still high. And one of the reasons it's bad time to sell is because you're no longer getting those crazy offers that we were seeing in the spring. And some of these that are closed from like April, some of them still from March, even early May that are like, 20 plus percent over asking we're not really seeing that so as a seller you have to be a lot more careful with your listing price for sure and you're not seeing five to ten plus offers anymore you're seeing less than five um, people aren't pulling out all the stops anymore but if it's a good house if it's a pretty good house uh, in a pretty good location at a pretty good price in our area you're still gonna get interest for the buy side it's a bad time to buy because mortgage rates are past 6% now, high as they've been in a bit. And there's still a lack of inventory. I'll touch on that in a second. But it's a good time to buy because the rates might climb even more in the fall. Like this, no one knows anymore. Um, and there's not as much demand, honestly. In the summer, people go on vacation, um, people have stuff to do. So there's a lot of buyers, you know, got put out with that mortgage rates. So instead of competing against five or six offers, now you're competing maybe against one or two or even none. Um, homes have been sitting a little longer, like generally, like we haven't seen many price productions, you know, uh, in this year, we are starting to see some of them. Um, but again, good homes still sell pretty quickly, but if it's not like priced quite accurately, then maybe it won't sell on that first weekend. Whereas in the spring, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, boom, it would be gone. So it's good to have an honest conversation with the realtor about like what you are looking for, because again, you, there, there's a way to spin it and with the data that it'll be a good or bad time to either buy or sell or both or neither. So before we jump to the homes, um, I'm actually going to share my screen. If that makes sense. Okay. So this MSI, it's a huge stat. It's month supply of inventory. It shows how long it would take for all the homes on the market to sell if no, were at, no homes were added. And the lower the number, the stronger a seller market it is, the higher the number, the stronger a buyer market it is. And keep in mind, a balanced market is six months. It's a balanced market. So as you can see, going back from May 21, we, we're in a seller's market big time, but you can see that it's been like pretty, you know, it got up to three, two last June. Cause I don't know why in LM there's just, this is for all of lower Marion, by the way, there's just a good amount of in, like new pendings. I'm sorry, new listings last June, but we've been in the ones consistently. Uh, March, it was two, six, April one, six, May it was two, three this month. It's one, four. So you know, if you're selling, you're like, oh, I heard, you know, there's a lot more homes on the market. I'm not going to get a good price. I mean, there's less like kind of inventory as than there was last month. So again, just there's stats to show anything. All right. So quickly getting into the closed homes for Norberth and Valley. Uh, again, these ones went under contract early in the spring. So they're still well above asking. 354 Sprague, that was uh, the principal, Randy Barker of my team. I'm on the Randy Barker team. Congrats to her. So that was 17% above asking. It was listed for like 1.3. It ended up closing 1.526. So both, I think all of these homes except for one got like well over. Uh, to Elmwood, that ended up closing 7.7% above asking for 700. That was on the market six days. 540 Sprague, this one uh, ended up getting 1325. Uh, that was off, on, off, on. That was, I mean, a very spacious home. Five Hands in Court, that almost sold for a mil. Uh, you know, again, the, these homes, when they were listed, you know, in the end of April, that's when things were 
flying off the shelf. So that was 975, that was 8% above asking. 14, 17, June Lane, this one was a mill flat, that was 17% above asking. So they listed it at 850, it ended up getting a mill, that was on the market eight days. I mean, that had a nice, that had a real cool looking interior. 121 Windsor, this one was one of those off and on, off and on. It ended up getting 135, that was 10% below asking. It was originally at 15. Um, that is quite a unique house. You've, if you drive in Narberth at all, you definitely recognize that one. That was on the market for 40 days. Then Brookhurst, I mean, this one went 31.6% above asking. So they listed it at 475 um, for a little bungalow. 1400 square foot on Brookhurst and it got 625. Um, I mean, it was cool, the interior, like it was definitely unique. And if you were at that open house, you saw that was a madhouse. 1101 Penshurst, so this one actually sold a little less. That was on the market 18 days. They got 1.05. So that was one of the ones that was like on the market, off the market, on the market. Um, and then they ended up closing it. And Chauncey, this one, like just that has some of the best curb appeal, you know, you've seen in a while. And that sold 20% above asking. So it was originally listed at one, basically five, and it got one eight. So it got 300K over. Um, that was this spring for you. So again, I don't think we're seeing that stuff anymore. But we're still like, there was a home. Um, one of the pending ones right on Writer's Mill that lasted, that, that was up for four days. That's gonna go over. 95 Windsor Ave closed for 460. That was 18% above asking. That was, you know, twin. Um, it was listed at 390. And 224 Tower Lane. So this one was 28% above asking. They So it's priced at 999, which if you look at the pictures and you see it, it was like, oh, why is it priced so low? Back in the spring it was, good to price it kind of like at market value or a touch lower so that you would get all that crazy competition. Um, and that's what they did. And they, they, they nailed it because they got well above asking. And 1234, uh, ah, Bobarn, that was a little, seven, it's funny that 7.4% is now a little above asking. I think we're gonna have to recalibrate that uh, this summer. It's, it's still, yeah, like that got over hundred K over asked. Um, but again, that was late April. That's a good looking home. And 207 Forest Ave, 10% above asking for 935, four bed, three bath. And again, so all these homes on here, like there's a link for that in the email. If you're watching this on YouTube, just email me or call or text. So you'll be able to find that. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And again, we're like, there's active homes up here. Um, it, anytime I do this, the past couple of months, there have not been this many active homes like on the screen. Um, so yeah, homes are starting to sit a little longer. Our days on market, that that's going up a bit. But um, oh, I'm sorry, Flat Rock, this just closed like 20 minutes ago. Um, that was, it ended up closing 740 and that was 7.5% below asking. That was on the market 55 days. And there's a couple of pendings and stuff. That's the one writer's mill that I was telling you. Um, go through that one because that one's a gorgeous looking home. So that's what we have. Market is very, very transitional right now. Uh, it's really, really important to get your, if you are thinking of listing a home, to get that price locked in. And again, it's like, it's both and neither a good and bad time to either buy or sell. It just depends on like what you want and who you're asking and what you're looking for. Uh, if you have no one to ask those questions to and you need a realtor, uh, again, my contact info is below. I'd love to be a resource. Um, we get, you know, we, we see all this stuff. And a lot of the news that you you might be hearing is like national news, which is not applicable to our area. Like we are, Lower Marion is in the main line. It's, it's very unique and special. All right, so that's all we got. Have a great month. Enjoy 4th of July weekend. And uh, I'll see you next time.